Hey guys, what's up? It's Pseudo Pluto here, um, and I just wanted to kind of make a public service announcement that uh, VAAPI um, hardware encoding for Shotcut is now working um, in the latest versions and in the um, flat pack version. Um, so I'll basically, show you how to do it um, in Shotcut first, and then I'll kind of give you the behind the scenes of what went on. Um, so basically, this is actually my, my desktop, which has NVIDIA GPU, um, but the process is very similar. Uh, what you want to do is, under export, you want to use hardware encoder, hit configure, and do detect. And basically, if you have an Intel um, or AMD GPU, you should get this, but for um, this uh, H.264VA API. Um, and one thing to notice is that if you are using... Uh, uh, flat pack, then uh, you want to install um, whatever VA API you need. Uh, for example, um, this used to be a um, hard drive that was using an Intel laptop, so I have the VA API um, Intel installed. And on my other laptop, which I use uh, Shotcut and um, this hardware acceleration for, I'm using the same thing. Uh, if you're not using the flat pack, um, you're going to have to install uh, the the support on your own. Um, I highly recommend the Arch Wiki for all this. Um, it tells you what packages and how to verify um, that everything is installed correctly. Um, just search up Arch Wiki VA PI, and under Hardware Video Installation, um, you will get all of the stuff basically. Um, Intel, you want to go for this, um, and then verification here. Okay, cool. Um, so, behind the scenes, uh, I was basically uh, trying to edit some videos while I was studying abroad in London, and I only had my laptop, so I um, wanted to use hardware uh, video encoding just so I could save my CPU a little bit. Um, so, I dug into this and went on the GitHub and um, I found the commit where uh, it was disabled uh, for Wayland, um, the VAPI. And um, talking with the developer, um, we were able to figure it out in this commit, basically. Um, it removed the restriction of requiring X11 uh, to use FFmpeg and the hardware acceleration. So. Now on Wayland with Flatpak, um, everything will work, basically. And I, I, I wish I had my laptop to show you guys um, how it performs, but overall it's performing a lot worse compared to um, the NVIDIA hardware encoder. Uh, the CPU, on my, at least on my laptop, seems to be a bit faster um, for encoding videos, while this hardware acceleration um, for Shotcut seems to have like a one-to-one -one, uh, playback time to encoding time uh, ratio. But the benefit is that it doesn't drain the battery as much because you're not pegging all the CPU cores at 100%. Um, so uh, if you're on battery and you have a laptop, I would recommend it. Otherwise, if you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, I would highly recommend uh, just using uh, CPU encoding um, by basically just selecting the non um, version of this, just selecting the default um, H.264 um, with this one here. But yeah, uh, hopefully that was useful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, bye.